Welcome to the channel. I'm getting a late, late, late start today. <sighs> but I want to show you something. Well, the girls just finished dinner. Yeah, I got to go get them milk bombs. You know, once they, that's always the tradition. Once they have supper, they get their milk bones. Come on in and get one. See the dog food shelf's quite bare now. I just got one can. I haven't. That's been there a couple of weeks. Yeah, I got to get rid of that beast and moity, moist and meaty. I got that for a rooster, but she don't like it. All right, let's pass out these milk bones, and we'll get on with the with the video. Where you at, Lily? Well. She, st she didn't eat her. See, I like that. She left her dry. Here, here's your milk bone. They're getting very little dry. And I had to take this rug and flip it upside down because all the little strings are coming out. Catching on her claw. And I'd come in here, I'm like, it's all overturned because she'd get her And then I seen her on camera. She got her, one of her claws caught on it. So I just flipped it over. I'll pick her up another one, a bigger one. Uh, better quality where the, where the uh, material don't come out of it. Huh, Lily? Yeah, go back outside. Go back outside, okay? Alright. Let me get these girls their milk bones. They expect them. Well, you guys polished it off, didn't you? Alright. Alright, this weekend... This weekend, I am picking up one, two, three, four windows. If I can find sizes to go in here. They can be smaller. I can frame this out smaller. I've already told you guys about that. Uh, I should be able to find them where I usually go in Greenwood, uh, a building supply place. I'm the one that told everyone else about it. I've been here longer. I knew about it. But they have a good selection of windows. And uh, you just got to bring cash. They don't accept no other forms of payment. So I'm going to get four windows for there. All right. I'm also going to be picking up a door. A metal door. I'm going to wall this up. There may be, if I can get a window to match these, a smaller one, I may put one there. Otherwise, I'm just going to wall it all up and have a much more secure wall. And we're going to put a real door in here because I want this to be usable in the winter time. And this is priority one. I'm going to do that as soon as I get the windows. So I'll just go ahead and just wall that up. But once I get the windows in, first order of business is to dig a ditch right there along the, uh, the edge there where the foundation is. And put in some French drain. I'm also, I do already have the guttering for here. I'm going to build this out. So I have something for the guttering to attach to. And so this will get guttering. That also needs to be, oh my goodness. I see a bunch of mud dauber nests. This needs to be screened off. I'm going to get some hardware cloth. Screen this off. Paint the hardware cloth black. That will look good. But they're going to be windows here with screens in them. So you'll be able to open them up. Uh, it's just going to be better. More value. And then i got to get the flooding issues fixed. Uh, hasn't happened in a while since I added this dirt. But it will if we get a flood. And I think just digging in, putting a little... I'm going to come up with some sort of fla uh, flashing. Or if i got to pour some concrete some kind of a barrier to where it will not go into that foundation because if you are wondering this used to be an old laundry room i did not pour this foundation so the way i built this because i you know i built it as a screen in patio so i did not put the posts on top of the concrete God, it'd be worse if I'd have done that. Eh, not really. Uh, so I went outside of the concrete foundation. And I added an ex extra space. That's why you got these dirt spots. 
I'm going to just fill these in with concrete. That's the best way to handle that. But it's going to be nice in here with windows. I'll pull these off. I'll insulate it. This whole wall will be insulated. The ceiling's already insulated. We'll figure out a way to cover this with something. Because uh, I don't want to leave it like that. And, and that's it. It ain't going to get too fancy in here. Just going to make it a, a nice gym that I can use in the winter. And it has to, it has to get done now. You know, I ain't moving to the kitchen because it's too nice. But I can work out here and get this done. It wouldn't take me very long to put four windows in here. These are all exactly the same. I doubt I'm going to find a good price on windows uh, that size. You know, I got, I got a certain budget for it. But if they're going to be smaller, well, they'll just be smaller. I'll, I'll just frame them out and we'll redo all this down here. That I'm probably going to get rid of anyway. And we're, we'll go with either sheetrock or something else. I don't know. But they will probably be small. You know, if I get lucky and find a good deal on windows that big, because I don't remember the size. Uh, it's like 52 inches. Uh, they're pretty much four by four. That's a pretty big window. That's going to be very expensive. And... To find windows to fit these oddball sizes, you know, that would match that, probably not. This is better off just closed in. Uh, I, you know, I do like having to be able, being able to see out here, but it isn't necessary. This could be closed in. That would add a little bit of security, uh, you know, because you can see right in here if you're pulling in the driveway or whatever. Not so much back here, but if I got windows here, I can put these blinds down. You're not seeing nothing. And it's already built solid. I'm just going to have to frame it to the size of these windows. Whatever it is, I find. They may not have anything. I'm sure they'll have something. They got a lot of them, big sizes like this. I did get the AC out of the window. Yes, I still got the cord going in. I don't want to drill into the building. I'm probably going to do it in the in the future, but I don't know. Also in the works. Sometime this winter, I'm going to have a roofing company come in. I'm going to have them rip all that crap off there, and I'm going to put a new roof on. Yep, it's only 10 years old. That's still good metal. But it wasn't done right. The guy, you know, if you'll look up there, I doubt you can see. But all he's got is a row of screws across the top, one in the middle, one in the bottom. Not enough. But I want to go with a gray, a dark gray color maybe. I want to go with something different. But some of the, you know, there is two layers of shingles underneath that. So these, even if they're screwed in, they may not be screwed in that good. I ain't getting up there, so I'm going to pay her. It's going to cost thousands, but I won't ever have to worry about it again after that. You can see he cut these too short over here, so water, it's not bad on this side, but if you go to the other side, that's all damaged. It's got, I can fix that myself, but it, it needs to be done right. And, you know, I may choose to go with the same color, but I don't think so. Why, you know? I've been looking at that for 10 years. Maybe I might want to go with a red, dark gray, silver. Maybe maybe the same color as what's on this roof over here. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is it ain't going to match the carport. But who cares? You know, life doesn't have to match. I can't even see this. That is, uh, yeah, I don't think I want it that color. That's pretty plain Jane. That's like a silver color. But with this green, you can only paint it so many different kinds of, you know, you can only paint the cabin so many different things. And I got to do something different here. I hate how I did that. But, yeah, this roof, I, I don't like it. It looks terrible. Can't fix, you know. I'm not definitely getting up there. I'm sure a roofing company come in here, tear this off, and 
Give me a new one in a couple of days. Well, what do you think, Telly? What would your color be? Black and white and brown? Those are the only colors you know because you're them colors. Yeah. Millie's got red, brown. I don't know. She's got a few colors herself. Oh, guys. What's a good... I mean, there's only a limited amount of choices of colors you can pick from. I don't want... No, I don't want blue. But it's probably going to be a... A gray color. I'll have to look. Brown might... Brown might be an idea. Kind of a dark brown. Anything. Yeah, a lot of things. This color would go with that. But I may paint the whole cabin. It needs another... You know, it needs it. After that one storm, it needs painting again. Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm getting started late, but those few things are in the works. This, I'm going to be begin on next week. Next week, you'll get to see that for Dogtober. I hope. Now, this providing the place where I'm going has windows that'll work for me. Thanks for watching. Get out of here, Wasp. Happy trails. Oh, here's, here's Miss Melly. You liked your supper tonight. They had ground beef, turkey, with scrambled eggs in it, yes, broccoli, cut green beans, and your CDB oil that's making you feel better. Yeah. Rooster won't eat it. She's picky. She's picky, girls.